Hey man, stop trying to fight everyone. Just ask them if they want to race. Yeah, I'll pass. I left my Centenario in my other pants. Oh, look at me, I'm Nolan. I got Centenario pants. James? Nolan? I thought it was you two. Welcome to Mexico. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you in the flesh. Wow. I've seen you jump cars out of planes and that thing in the sky. How does it even stay up there? Calm down, fanboy. <laughs> you know Horizon. Haley didn't tell me you were coming down. Yeah, we heard the festival was here, so we brought the whole crew down for the weekend. The J Crew. And Nolan. <laughs> I'll look for them around the festival. Nice car, though. This yours, James? Yeah, it's mine. Sweet little personal ride with some uh, personal modifications. This is usually where someone has me the keys. Just be careful with it. I've seen you drive, too. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go with you. <laughs> Fanboy. Right! Let's see what this can do! Hey, whoa! Take it easy! Zach just finished fixing this thing. Uh, guys, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but we've got a dust storm blowing up along your route. <laughs> perfect! What? No! Not perfect! Not perfect! In 200 meters, turn right. Feels good! Let's see if we can find some dirt to tear up. Not too much tearing it up, though, right? <laughs> Trust me, James! Well, you're literally inside a sandstorm now, so have fun, I guess. No, Nolan, it's fine. I wanted a new paint job anyway. So, uh, you're just driving me out into the middle of the Mexican desert? <laughs> Don't worry, James. There's a beetle I want to show you. I'm kind of relieved. I gotta say, I'm kind of relieved. Alfonso de Hornwolf. He was a friend of Ferdinand, of course. Anyway, our guy, the Prince, entered seven Volkswagens in the 1965 Pan American. None of them finished first because, you know, duh, 1.2 liter engine. But those seven Beatles, they all rolled over the finish line like a parade at an average of 61 miles per hour. There were two Ferraris that didn't make it. People said that old Ferdy had smuggled in some Porsche engines, so they had to get a consultant from Houston to confirm that the cars were legit. Our boy Prince Alfonso opened his dealership later that year, and the rest is history. am I looking at? This is the uh, Hyper Vocho? Alejandro says it'll do over 200 miles per hour. I'm not sure how that's even possible. <laughs> Alejandro built it. That's how. Should we take it for a spin? Don't look at me, man. You're the one who gets paid to be a passenger. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Right. Keep your speed up. I'll call the route. <laughs> 
Roach technical ahead, that opens up. I'll call it when you can for it. Okay, right is easier, but both ways work. You decide. Here we go, give it the beans. Nolan. I'm okay with it. That's what I am. Okay. Okay, just let me uh catch my breath here. You know, I've got an idea. If you're not doing anything tomorrow, let's build a car. You up for that? Absolutely. I'll see you at the test track at dawn. At dawn? Why? I mean, tch. yeah. See you there. Just hit the button to bring up the upgrade menu at any time. We're gonna swap the entire drivetrain. All-wheel drive is what we need to make a Rally Beast out of this. Check conversions for that. Drivetrain swap? Check. We're gonna need proper suspension if we're gonna take this thing off-road. Rally suspension is what we need. That's in platform and handling. The last piece of this puzzle is tires and wheels. You need a specific tire for this. Look in tire compound for the rally tire compound. Hey, nicely done. Looking good. That should do it for the first pass, all right. Take it around the test track.
I've hooked up some computer bits to the car. I need you to drive it as fast as possible along the entire route. Are you ready to put this car to the test? Let's do this! Telemetry is good. Keep going. Another set of corners ahead. Looking good. And that's it. Nice. We've got good average speeds and handling, but I think we need a time trial of this car. Oh, for sure. I think I know a place. I'll call you. I've got the route laid out and ran some numbers for the times you should be aiming for. I swear, Nolan, I'm gonna start charging the festival for all the work you're doing. <laughs> We've gotta be scientific, man. All right, jump in. Let's go. Go! Keep it on the road. I've put down some stuff to mark the turn off. Is he always this excited? You have no idea. He loves rolls. we go. You know, I think we built a pretty good car. I think we actually have to put it up against something along a rally route. There's some great roads near the old airfield. Well, that sounds like what we need. Let's meet there. Yeah, it started to rain. But that's just going to make this an even better test. Speak for yourself, dude. I'm not riding in that through this weather. I will be driving this. James, where where did you get that? Some Scottish guy named Alex handed me the keys. Man, I love Horizon. See you guys. Guess it's just me and you then, Nolan. Hey, boys. Like the car? <laughs> I'll call the room. You drive. Let's get him. Easy right, then easy left. Hard left! Hard left! Two jumps into easy right. Jump, then easy right into water. Don't cut. Easy left into hard left. Don't cut. Water into easy right. How's that hunk of junk holding up? I've got heated seats in here. <laughs> I've got questions about my life choices. Crossing asphalt, then into a right. Don't cut. Easy right into long left. Caution. Long right into easy left, then hard right with service change. Now 
Now it's asphalt to the end. Get him! Well, that's not my fault, okay? You had a pretty good driver. But more like you have no idea how to handle that car. Me and Justin could do some D-list stuff. We might be able to get high and low car down here. I mean, if we're careful. This, this is gonna be great. We'll talk soon. <laughs>